Well, hello. I have mentioned in the past that I kind of one of my secret goals is I'd love a pen from every continent. I have a lot of European pens, some Asian pens, uh, North American pens. I hopefully this fall will be getting an Australian pen. Yes, really. And so we've got South America left and we've got, I'm forgetting a continent. Africa, wow. <laughs> so, uh, oh, and Antarctica, although I think the Antarctica dream will never happen. Too cold. <laughs> uh, the pens there, if there are fountain pens there, will have evolved and adapted for cold weather and will only function in North Dakota during its winters. But I always enjoy finding new manufacturers or new you know, historical pens or, or countries that I haven't collected yet. Well, this pen has been in my collection for quite a while, actually. It was sent to me by a viewer from Texas. Um, he knows who he is. I don't feel like I should give away his name on the internet. But uh, anyway, he sent me a pen, along with several other pens. Uh, but this pen in particular is from a country that I've never had a pen from before. Welcome to Pakistan. Of course, neighboring India has quite a thriving fountain pen culture, and he, he sent me quite a number of Indian pens. Um, Pakistan is a very different country from India, and I'm not going to go into the politics or the history there, but uh, I want to talk about the pen, and this is it. So this is a dollar pen. Now, they do make several models. I am uh, unclear what the model on this one is. But it's a piston filler under a blind cap. It seems to operate fairly smoothly. Especially for a pen that's just been sitting in my box forever. The nib, an iridium point steel, feels reasonably smooth on my hand. So let's ink it up. I've been trying to use up this bottle because I have too many bottles of ink, so if I can actually use one up, that's grand. So you'll be seeing this one in a lot of first impressions, not every single one. I almost think it's ready for me to, there's a little insert for the Noodler's bottles. I think it's ready for that insert. Um, but anyway, Oh, I just totally did that off screen. I apologize, but I'm not redoing it just for that. So, I like a demonstrator. They just, I don't know, they just show off the ink and the pen can take on a totally different character depending on what ink you put in it. I think that's kind of fetching. So this is a dollar pen. The ink in it is Noodler's Apache Sunset. Which is uh, supposed to be a good shading ink. Uh, I will confess that in the right pen and the right paper it is a shading ink. But the color really does nothing for me. So I won't miss this bottle. And I won't be replacing it. Which like I said is kind of a goal. Because I uh, want to decrease my number of ink bottles. Not a flex nib, but I didn't think it would be. It doesn't look like it has too much of a grind in any particular direction. Uh, wetness and flow. So far, it's doing well with that. Had no trouble keeping up there. The smear test. Uh, not sneer, and that's misspelled anyway. Smear test, wow. That's not bad. Uh, th this isn't you know, a stellar pen. I, I would call this pen a daily writer. This this is a pen you, you don't carry around to show off beautiful inks. This is a pen you carry around to do your everyday writing with. Uh, reverse writing. You know, that is darn smooth. I mean, that's just as smooth as the other side. This looks kind of like a medium. This looks like a fine. And the world-famous Pierre Gustafson test.
That's that one with flying colors. So, um, Everyday Writer, yes. Amazing, oh my god, I'm so glad I have it. Pen, no. Uh, it's, it's not one I would seek out just because it's so amazing. Uh, I will admit it will stay in my collection because now I have a pen from Pakistan. So I've had a viewer has mentioned a few times, hey, why don't you review a pen from Pakistan? And they mentioned this and they mentioned Click. It, or it may have been two different people, I don't know. Um, from what I could find, I do have a Click pen coming soon. But from what I could find, Click is actually an Indian brand. And, you know, I really don't want to confuse Pakistan and India because I, I feel like that that's just going <laughs> to lose me some viewers who would be mildly offended if you know the current situation there. But uh, this is definitely a Pakistani pen, so I'm very happy I have it. And it's not bad. I, You know, this is a pen I could carry with me. Uh, like I said, it's a daily writer pen. I could write my notes at meetings, at school, and so on. In fact, I have been thinking about having uh, some pens at school and some pens at home and not traveling them back and forth. Uh, this would definitely be a good one for the school collection because it feels like a good, reliable writer. Now, time will tell. This is a first impression. Uh, it may turn out I absolutely hate it after a few days, but we will find out. And one more test, you know, if I'm going to be carrying it with me. Yeah, and this is a little bit thicker shirt, so I'm pretty pleased with how that one fit on. Uh, pretty pleased with the pen in general. So, yeah, I think I found a nice little writer. So I want to thank you for watching, and I just want you to remember that this is a first impression uh, my opinion may change completely by the time I get around to doing a review on this pen. So I uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.